guys this is Adam from 3dmodsworld.com welcome to another Maya tutorial and today I'm gonna show you guys how to create this like x-ray look and uh, your renders and it's gonna be really cool and uh, I'm gonna show you guys how you can stylize it as, as well so you, you're not just using the default uh, Maya uh, materials I'm gonna show you guys how you can stylize uh, the look of it the x-ray so you can have it uh, for your own uh, uh, unique project so you can use it as it is, as a style of its own, or you can use it uh, in comp uh, to add it on top of your uh, regular render to enhance it and make it like uh, look uh, even more interesting. So without further delay, let's get started. Okay, so this is the scene I have. I have this uh, really cool Ferrari, and now it's uh, like a high poly, and I have all the pieces separate here. And I just want to show you guys how we can do this uh, actually really easily. So the idea we're trying to do here is basically if you look at the shading and then you click here on X-ray, so you kind of you get this kind of like a nice X-ray. But we want to make sure we be able to render that, so we don't need to you know screen capture anything. Like a movie scenes, they have it like they highlight a specific plan and they show you the characters through the walls and things like that, or like Superman X-ray vision. So what we can do is we go to the render settings here and then let's go to the Arnold here and change it to Maya Hardware uh, 2.0 now. And then, uh, so let's do a quick render and see what we have. Okay, so we have now the car like that. So uh, it's gonna be really easy. So you go under Maya Hardware here and then you scroll down until you reach this uh, render options. And then in this render options, you can see here there's the X-ray mode and X-ray joint display. So click on this x-ray mode and then let's save this image and then let's render. You can see here instantly we got this really nice uh, x-ray. And uh, if you want to make sure the quality is good, you click on this multi-sampling. So this way the anti-aliasing just going to increase the quality. Let's save and just make sure uh, how much effect. So you can see here the edges was really jittery and now they look uh, much more smoother. So definitely you can see this in the top here, how this um, the edges doesn't look really good. And now it looks everything smooth. So you can, uh, as I mentioned always, you can adjust the sample count here. I use 8 because my hardware is really fast to render. So you don't need to worry about, uh, you know, using low quality. You can use as high settings as you want. Uh, and this is going to be really nice. If you want to take it further, like what we did in the previous tutorial, like if you want to like have it uh, to add the wireframe on shaded and texture so you can get this really x-ray plus wireframe plus like everything if you want to like show the interior if you have characters and thing and you want to show the wireframe while you are in x-ray you could do that but let's keep it on uh, shaded and textured for now and uh, of course if you want to change that just to be in shaded mode while it's an x-ray uh, so let's see, because oh, now it's in shaded, uh, not shaded, you can use the default material because already the shaders have the colors. So this is with the default material. So this you can actually, you can see stylize this. So for example, if you want to give this a really nice uh, look, what we can do, instead of using these uh, colors, we can select everything and then we don't have to, to assign an Arnold shader, we just can create uh, let's create like a quick blend for example and in this blend under the color uh, node let's click uh, add the ramp and then in this ramp let's change the colors let's say we don't want to use red let's do something like this and like this bluish so we get this kind of result so we get this really kind of interesting look and then let's render and then let's go to the settings here Let's change from default material into like, uh, let's see, shaded and textured. And then you can see here, you get this uh, very interesting uh, look. So you can basically stylize this X-ray or even like use it as a style on its own. So you can create this like a uh, very interesting looking uh, stuff, you know, like it's very stylized, more like a Tron type feeling into it. And you can, if you want to have this, uh, you comp it on top of your actual uh, render. So it can have this really nice, uh, cool 
halo or like effect on top of your render so there's like so much things you guys can do with this kind of style i just wanted to quickly show you how you can do this x-ray and how to take it further into making it it's in its own style and how you use it to, to enhance your renders and add more cool stuff to it and in order to export this uh, you can uh, go to the common tab and then you can adjust it to be like a png for example because i want it to be you know like transparent and you name it like a car uh, x-ray for example and i want to make sure we have uh, 48 frames for this one for, uh, for the render time and then we can select the camera and then make sure we select the resolution that you want everything and then you can uh, do the same thing you go to rendering and then uh, render and then you do a batch render and then this way is going to render like everything super fast that's going to be really cool uh, renders so hopefully this tutorial helped you guys let me know if you have any questions and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want to get notified when i'm publishing a new video feel free to check our website 3 for more tutorials and cool 3d assets until next time take care